Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Trek Let's Play. So it's been a long while since I've um, uploaded any Star Trek videos but I wanted to give you uh, a little bit more variety in my content rather than just keep uploading uh, Star Trek vids all the time. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that or anything like that, it's just uh, well, it's just me personally just like to give more, like I said, variety. But anyway, what I plan to do today is to show off uh, one of the events uh, which is going today where you can actually uh, gain the console of well gain the console which is universal called for a firm power stuff core now the way you can get this is by taking part in the event which is into breach and doing patrol fourth encounters and basically it tells you what you've got to do for these is because you've got like it says progress two and there's progress one so I'm not entirely sure whether you have to do Interbreach twice to actually get this fully or whether you have to do um, Voth Patrol Encounters to um, get that up fully, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to show off the Into the Breach because I don't think I've done a video of that and work my way up into, well, Basically, I'm going to be doing this every day to work my way up into getting that. Obviously, like I usually do with these things, I won't show it on an everyday thing. I'll mostly just show... I'll probably will show two videos. One with um, this character and the other one with um, my um, Sapphire character. So that way, you can actually see um, different ships enter the breach area. But um, I'll do no more than that because otherwise it'd be just repetitive over and over again. But anyway... Uh, and also, um, while taking part in the event, you can also gain um, progress tokens um, to go towards um, a tier 6 um, discount coupon. And that's also another prize that I'm planning to get myself... Well, that's another reason why I'm getting myself involved into this um, event thing, because one, I want to get the um, sub-power core and... Sorry power subcore and the other one is I want to get obviously to like progress towards the token basically I mean after all I am a sucker for freebies and such so um not that there's anything wrong with that I think we all suckers for freebies at times but in a good way anyway enough of me rabbiting on let's get this party started and yes I'm using my off um, side tier 6 ship because in my opinion, I feel when taking this, um, when doing this um, event, or even just doing the PVE of this, I feel a small ship or a faster ship is much more better for this. But some people do go in there with bigger ships because they obviously know what they're doing and they're a lot more daring compared to what I am. But anyway, without uh, whoops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Without um, further delay, let's get this party started, and it should come up quick should plus the good thing about this event as well it gives me more fleet marks as well and extra delivery as well obviously i won't claim delivery for this character because this character's got a heap load of delivery and so i'll claim for another character so that way it spreads the delivery around a bit and yes all this is all account wide which is good uh, that it is account wide because you know, it makes it easy to access all the um, goodies that you win from this, and it saves you doing it multiple times. Also, this one will be the event version, so it should be shorter compared to the actual larger one. But yeah, this is relatively easy, but this one is more the short version compared to the original one. The original one is a lot longer than this one. It 
go, I always use a full spread one on this part because um, it just hits most of the hard points. And you may notice that this um, offside ship has um, phasers on it now uh, because I decided to equip it with phasers rather than its um, anti proton um, set that it originally had. Even though that, yeah, anti proton is good, but I thought I'd change it up because I already got a few ships with anti proton on there, so I thought, you know what, just change it up a bit. Because I try not to keep. Um, I try not to keep everything the same. I say I try. But um, the one thing I like about this, um, about this, um, oops, my driving's terrible. The one thing I like about this, um, this whole PVE slash event, is it does have a um, sort of like a, a reminder of stars, you know, going through the whole trench run and all that lot. But at the same time, you're engaging with the Voth and, you know, just basically fighting the Voth is quite a nice little thing. I'm not saying that, you know, I. I, I I would like to constantly fight the Voth and all lot because obviously I would like to play as them and such but I mean there's a lot of things I like to do in this game I mean I like to play the Folians I mean but hey but um, anyway um, but basically I like this one because um, you know it has this uh, nice old charm to it and I remember when it first came out and everybody was just so on the ball with this thing and such and yes a lot of people were making a lot of Star Wars quotes notes like um, you know the whole red vice standing by that sort of thing so you know it was just quite funny what some of them used to do ages ago i mean they probably still would in this um probably today and such like that but they haven't done it yet obviously but they'll probably do it like the next time around or something because there's always someone that does it and then it gets a whole lot started off but um I will say the original one is very long and it can be quite tedious but at the same time it is quite a good one to play I will say in my opinion I mean I haven't got no issues with it or anything like that I mean yes it's long and tedious but I think it's meant to be long and tedious because obviously it's to make it challenging but you do get a lot of uh, marks from the original one um, I can't remember if you get a lot of marks on this one or not I think you do, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But either way, I enjoy playing these these things just for the um you know old time sakes and such. And there is the located a vulnerability in their defenses. One of their hangar doors has a locking mechanism that can be detonated to open the door. Rally with your team and destroy the locking mechanism on the hangar door in the side of the fortress. And basically, like I said, you've got to just destroy this big thing. It's all simples to do in that. Easy enough. I remember when I played this before, they actually upgraded the um, graphics and added the um, pretty effects and such. I mean, it looks pretty awesome back then, and now, ever since they added the pretty effects and added a little bit more graphics to it, it actually looks even more better as well. So, they have really upped their game. Yes, this game does show its age, but it's respectable, and I personally, you know, I'm one of those types that doesn't matter how old a game looks or if a game shows its age, if I like it, I like it, you know, and I'm going to, you know, keep playing it. I mean, it's the same with anyone else, really. If they like a certain game, whether it's made out of blocks or pixels or whatever, they're still going to play it, no matter how old it is. So I'll definitely say, you know, never misjudge a game by its looks or cover, should I say. And yes, I'm, set, I'm trying to actually be as quick as possible in rescuing these ships. Obviously, the other team is doing their job as well. Well, obviously, they're trying to get this um, whole one... Ugh, this whole event thing over and done with which I don't blame but at the same time I like to just try and um, you know follow the event all the way through that includes saving all the ships and such like that and I do believe there's another ship at the other end that needs rescue so I may as well make my way over there once I get my thingy up come on I've got about two seconds on this thing oh at least my sniffling is not so bad today because I remember the last time when I was recording it was um, 
totally playing up and I was like, Ugh, don't like having the sniffles while recording. No, it's annoying, but it's just, uh, makes me feel dopey. But anyway, um, yeah. The reason why I do all this, um, like this, the whole rescue thing and follow the PvE the event all the way through, I just like to keep it a challenge. And plus, I think it rewards you with more marks if you do the whole thing, like 100% it, I don't know. Someone can easily recreate me on that one. And yes, I've been playing this game for a long while and I still forget the simplest of things. Wait. Oh, that's the actual core. Also, there's a little um, trick that the Foth do play here. There is um, the real core, and then you've got a fake core. This one's obviously a real core because there's no question mark on it. If there was a question mark at the end of it, then that's a sign that it's a fake core. And if you hit the fake core, it releases an EMP surge that does significant damage to your ship, depending. I mean, there are some people that have made their ships, like, almost immune to that. And I'm still learning how to, they do that. Now I'm going to open this reader here and I hope it's the real one. But it's probably a fake. No, it's a real one. Oh, it's luck. But yeah, the fake one does exactly what the real one does. It fires and such like that. The only difference is if you hit it even just once, it will release the EMP charge and it will hurt big time. But lucky for me, um, if that was to happen, then I can easily repair myself in that. Although, this one is not as tough as my engineer, but it still does um, a lot of um, DPS damage. Well, when I say a lot, I don't mean as in a lot compared to most players, but, you know, it's a lot to my standards. And this is their big super core. And actually, I'll kind of think about it now. I think I've done this a lot more quicker than before. Whoops, I forgot about those tractor beams. Um, those tractor beams, if they grab hold of you, they teleport your ship right near to the core, where it can damage you much more easily with its uh, electro rays and EMP things and that. Yeah, I'm trying to be um, smart with my words, but it's not working too well for me, so I'll just describe it in my own best way. Also, I've got to remember where the exit is. Uh, is that the exit or it? I'll soon figure out when the arrows point to it. That's a good thing, that's another thing they improved on this. It's they improved in showing which direction to go as well because they put like these like arrow light beacons. You'll notice them quite easy. They're like a purple light arrows that point in the direction where you've got to go and such like that. And so that they made the navigation on this quite easy. I think that could be the exit one looking at there. Nope, that's not the exit. So turn around to... Oh wait, that might have been... Nope, I took the wrong turn. Wait, where's the arrows to see? Oh, it's down there. Okay, I'll turn the light. I thought there was arrows to it, but there wasn't. There isn't. I guess it's just at the beginning. But yeah, I've got to remember the... Uh, doorways at the bottom from the doorway that I entered into the hall. I should really actually do this more often, you know, like the long version. Then that way it just stops me from forgetting then. But yeah, all you have to do is just exit the ship. And once you exit the ship, you're just home free. Of course all your team has to make it as well. Excuse the heavy breathing. And we're in the clear. Well, I'm in the clear. I know the other lot are. Um, the rest is coming out. So just waiting for them. Excellent work. Your efforts have deprived the Voth of a valuable asset. Now, in the original one, you, it would be more than just three allied ships that you would save. You would have to save in total of nine, if memory serves. So th this one is a lot more shorter compared to the other one. So it's a lot more quicker. Where the other one is extremely long. And one day, if I can actually get that up and going, I will try and actually show it off. But yeah, that's um, the event done.
and that was quicker than um, anticipated. But this is as um, fully done the whole thing that I want. So look, see, events. Yep, it's done it. So that one. Ah, oh, now I get it. What it means by progress times two. That's what it means. So it means it does, you know, your daily requirement uh, um, by two. Where if you was to do patrols, it's one each. So yeah. So in that case, I don't have to do the patrols today. Uh, however, um, what I will do, I will show the patrols in another video, probably either uh, tomorrow or next week, one of the two, depending if I've got free time. But either way, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I've actually enjoyed um, doing it. And as you can see here, you know, this uh, I've added another 50 to the progress um, bar, so you get 50 of these per event and such, which is handy, Harry. But anyway, as I, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to making more reviews. Until then, you lot, peace out, and take it easy.